In this lesson, we're going to create a custom display in Formidable Pro so you can show your guestbook entries on a page on your site. From the Formidable Pro menu, select Custom Displays and Add New. In this case, I'm going to open a custom display that I've already created. Let's familiarize ourselves with the screen. First, we have the Custom Display Info Panel. This is where you enter the title of your custom display. The display key is created by Formidable Pro when you save the display. You don't have to do anything with this field. The description field is optional and used only for your own personal reference. The content of this field does not display to the public. In the Form and Display Type panel, you select the form from which its entries will show in this custom display. You have a drop down with the forms that you've already created select guestbook. Next we have to choose the display format. What do I want to display? All entries, single entry, a dynamic entry in which shows hyperlinks that will open up your form in a single page, or a calendar with your entries inserted into them. For my guestbook I want to select all entries. The next section is content. This is pretty complicated. We're going to skip over this for the time being and return to it shortly. Finally, we have the advanced options. The advanced options are used for selecting and sorting your actual guestbook entries for display on the custom display. The order field is for sorting. For guestbook entries, I want the newest entries to appear at the top of the list. This means we have to sort by creation date in descending order. The where field is the selection criteria for your entries. The term where comes from the structured query language or SQL or SQL as it's commonly called. SQL is the primary language construct for retrieving information from a database. Fortunately with Formidable Pro you don't have to know anything at all about SQL. You only need to know which records you want to display. This is where the approval field on the guestbook form comes into play. I only want to display entries that have been approved by an administrator. So our WHERE clause is approved is equal to true. Now you might have built your form with a yes no approval field. If so, then your WHERE clause is approved is equal to yes. Notice the add button. You can add additional selection criteria to further filter the entries on your display. The limit field enables you to set a limit on the amount of data you want to retrieve from your database. Why might you want to do this? Well, suppose you have 10,000 entries. Pulling 10,000 entries from a database to display on a website can potentially lead to performance problems. If you find that your custom display is slowing down a bit after you amass a high number of entries, you might want to try limiting the amount of data retrieved at one time. The limit field takes a number representing the number of records to retrieve. Page size tells Formidable Pro how many records to display on a single page before pagination occurs. The message, if no entries found, can be customized if you wish, but I think the default message is fine. Lastly, if you check, copy these display settings to other blogs when Formidable Pro is activated, custom display will automatically create a copy of itself in any other instance of Formidable Pro running on your WordPress multi-site installation. On the right side of the page are several panels of helpful information that guide you in the creation of your display. You've got shortcode options, advanced customization options, data from entries, and user information. It can all be displayed as part of your custom display. Now we get to the fun part, the content. This is where you create the working code for your custom display. To create the working code, you must know something about writing HTML and if you want to conditionally display certain data elements, a working knowledge of PHP is essential. What do I mean by the conditional display of data? To give you a better understanding, let's look at how I display the guestbook entries on my site. I have my guestbook form and underneath here are the entries that people have made into my site. First thing to notice is that between the form and the rectangle, the first rectangle, there is a space and each rectangle has a space between it. I've got the person's name, 
the creation date, the message, and the country of origin. You'll also notice how some entries have one icon and some have two. The first icon for send poster and email is the email icon. If the person provided me with an email address when they submitted their entry, this icon displays. If there's no email address on file, this icon is invisible. The second icon is the poster's website. If the person filled in the website address, then this icon displays. If the field is empty in the database, then there's no icon. So you can see either of those icons, both icons, or no icons at all. And this is the pagination feature. I have my page size set to five entries, and then they paginate. Now let's walk through the code. I've now switched to my text editor where I edit the source code for my custom display. I always write the source code in an HTML tool and then cut and paste it into the content box. As you recall from looking at the custom display on my website, there's a space between each guestbook post and between the form and the post. I create the space using this table. What you have to change for your website is the width so it fits into your page. Everything else can stay the same. Then we go to the working code to display the guestbook entries. That rectangle is created by this div. This is where I put the color of the border. This needs to change for your own website. You need to be able to match the border of the rectangle to the theme that you're using on your website. You also need to change the width to match the size that you have available to you on your website. We start with the name, URL, and email in this table. The first line is the name, if you remember it was bolded. We've got the style for bolding it. Now you've got these very cryptic fields here. These are short codes that we're going to show you how to insert when we get back to the content box. The short codes represent the actual field values that you have in your guestbook entries in the database. What I will usually do is while I'm writing the code, I will put text in here to substitute for the short codes. I would put like first name, last name, and then I would substitute that text with the short codes when I bring it back to the content panel. Email. This is where we start getting into the conditionals. This is again another short code, and now this is PHP code indicated by this little header here. If email field is not equal to blank, in other words, if it's not empty, then I go ahead and I create my link to the person's email. An if statement has to close with another if statement. And notice with PHP, you've got the opening tag, the ending tag, closing tag, you write some HTML, and then you finish PHP statement on the next line. So this actually ends the if statement. Then we open up another if statement to check for if the email is truly empty. If it's empty, we simply display a blank space. That's how you do the conditional formatting. We do the same thing with the URL field, the entry creation date. Now this is PHP code. Again, you have to refer to the PHP documentation in order to format your date properly. I have a horizontal line separator, and then finally, I have one last table for the message and the country of origin. Then we close the rectangle. What we do at this point is we take this information and paste it back into our content panel. Now from the content panel, notice this content, select a value to insert into the box below. Now I'm going to just make a little space here. Remember I said I use placeholders because I know that the short codes have to be here. What I'll do is I will highlight one of those placeholders and then you find the name key. Now the way that Formidable Pro works, name is actually first name, last is last name. So you take first name, key, insert it. And that's what you do for substituting the short codes. Once you've substituted all of your short codes, you save your information or update. Last thing we have to do is add it to the page. If we go to all pages, I'll show you the guestbook page. This is the form that I'm using, and this is the custom display, and this is the result. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this Formidable Pro tutorial.